With Easter coming up in March, I'm sure you're already working on colorful crafts. And if there is one embroidery project I'd recommend, it's applique embroidery, which combines shape, dimension, and color perfectly for this holiday. Hi guys, welcome back to Buy TV channel. I'm Shakira. In this episode, I will show you how to create applique embroidery on hoodies. It's also a detailed tutorial on how to use the Vision V22 for applique embroidery. You can watch the video to learn the techniques and let your imagination run wild. There are plenty of things you can embroider on besides hoodies. Now, let's start with the preparation. Before embroidery, we need to prepare some accessories and tools. Hoodie, applique fabric, tear away embroidery stabilizer, hexagon, hand drill, embroidery muddy hoop. I'm planning to create an applique today in the center of the hoodie with the height of 20 cm and the width of 20 cm. To facilitate cutting the applique fabric and avoid any issues during the embroidery process, I usually perform a test design beforehand. Here is the design I prepared in advance. After embroidering it out on felt fabric, I cut it out and made sure it was the perfect size for the hoodie I chose. In addition, to ensure a beautiful embroidery effect, I usually set the embroidery position 7.5 cm from the neckline. The exact position can be adjusted according to the embroidery design you choose and the style of the garment to ensure that the overall visual effect is both beautiful and comfortable. Now I will mark the embroidery position 7.5 cm down from the neckline. The next step is to cut the stabilizer. First of all, here we are using the magnetic embroidery frame because it will be easier to install. We need to cut the stabilizer to match the size of the frame. Try to cut the size of the stabilizer as big as possible because it will make the embroidery more stable. Then, mount the bottom mighty hoop to the hoop master station and the stabilizer is placed on top of the bottom hoop, making sure that the stabilizer covers the hoop completely. Next. The hoodie is placed on top of the stabilizer, and if the hoop is positioned too far up, we adjust the hoop master station base and move the hoop down a bit to make sure it was within the embroidery. Then flatten and tidy the clothes, and proceed to install the top embroidery hoop, ensuring that the notched end is facing towards the right side. Now our hoop frame preparation is done. If we are using the embroidery hoop that comes with the machine, we can select it based on the design size. Typically, when embroidering a hoodie, we would choose the T-Max embroidery hoop. The procedure is the same as before. First, cut the stabilizer to match the embroidery hoop. Then install the bottom embroidery hoop and place the stabilizer inside it. And flatten the clothes. When installing the top embroidery hoop, Pay attention to ensure that the gap is facing towards the right side and place the top hoop horizontally to prevent the embroidery position from being tilted. Let's turn on the machine and select the corresponding embroidery hoop so that we can better observe the fabric's movement. The embroidery hoop I have chosen is already preset. If you need to learn how to set up the embroidery hoop, you can follow us and watch the instructional video on setting up the hoop, or you can reach out to us through our Facebook page. I will provide you with the contact information below. Then install the hand drill. Place the hand drill on the outermost holes on both sides and tighten the screws. Similarly, the process is the same for the right side. If the embroidery hoop is of a different size, the hole positions will also be different. Adjust the hole positions to make them symmetrical. The embroidery hoop that comes with the machine does not need adjustment. Next, install the embroidery hoop and the hoodie. When installing, be careful to tuck the garment into the shadow bed to prevent any damage to the clothes. Once the installation is complete, click on Import to import the embroidery design pattern. Select the desired pattern to import. If you encounter a prompt saying Design No is used while selecting the pattern, you need to return to the main interface, click on EMB, and then confirm the exit. Then, re-enter the pattern management interface and select the desired pattern to import. After selecting the pattern, we need to determine the colors of the embroidery. In the software, there is a color list available for download, and you can choose colors based on that. When selecting colors, pay attention to the actual embroidery thread colors. Next is the focus of our discussion today. When selecting colors for applique designs, we need to add an applique function for the applique piece. 
For example, if we want to add an applique function to the first color, we can select the second color, then press the button located at the bottom left of the screen. This will add an applique function for the second color. Therefore, while the inboard read for the first color is completed, the machine will move the inboard read hoop and automatically stop. At this point, we can place the applique fabric for the corresponding area. And once we are done, we can press the start button again. The machine will continue embroidering on the fabric until this part is finished. And then we can proceed to trim the fabric. Similarly, for the next color that requires applique, we add another applique function. After embroidering that color, we trim the fabric again. In the end, we will have a beautifully applique piece. Since this design allows for different colors to be applied onto various letters and shapes, we will pause and trim after embroidering each section. However, if your design is continuous, you can wait until the machine completes the entire embroidery process before performing a final unified trimming. After selecting the colors, click on tracking to determine the embroidery position, then observe the movement of needle 1, as it will indicate the embroidery position. If a no needle prompt appears, slightly rotate the color change motor hand wheel and observe the needle position on the screen. Then click on normal tracking again. Now let's begin the embroidery. Press the start button and the machine will start embroidering the first color. Once the embroidery for the first color is complete, the machine will pause and start applying. After placing the fabric, press the start button and the machine will continue embroidering. Once the applique is embroidered, the machine will pause again, waiting for you to trim the excess fabric. Embroidery is complete. Remove the hoop, tear off the excess stabilizer, and the embroidery is finished. Once the embroidery is completed, you will see a beautiful applique design come to life on the hoodie. This process not only allows us to experience the joy of creation, but also lets us appreciate the charm of embroidery art. We hope you enjoy this creation and look forward to sharing more creative fun with you in the future. Thank you for watching this episode. If you have any important questions or want to learn more, please leave a comment in the comment section or subscribe to our channel. If you've learned something, feel free to leave a comment under our video. We look forward to seeing your applique embroidering creations. Goodbye!